Oh yeah, um, I've been doing some 3D printing stuff and I've got some interesting jobs here I thought you might like. So someone sent me this. Um, it's a plastic foot off a suitcase. So I've made them this. And this was done in carbon fibre filled plastic. So hopefully that's very clear to you. Um, and you think, well, actually, if you, wanted a if you wanted a replacement of that foot, where would you get it? Uh, it turned out to be an incredibly easy design to make, so we printed it for him. Uh, that's probably about five quid's worth, uh, the way we charge, although, you know, material costs a fraction of that, under a pound, I suspect, but obviously the machine time and the expertise all add up. If you're doing it at home, it's a lot cheaper. You, you write off all that time. But... I've uh, got one of these things. Now this might be tricky to see. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, this is a tiny bit of plastic. Uh, and okay, it's, it's a really small bit of plastic. Um, it's to go on the front of an oven where an LED is going behind it. And there was originally a small bit of plastic there. And the customers designed it and sent me the job and printed it. And you're thinking, you know, this is tiny. This is We're charging 80 pence for this. It's a tiny little job. It takes a few few minutes to print it's really easy but if you wanted one of those how much time would you spend wasting trying to get one um, you know even though he spent a little time measuring it and deciding it's it's that particular size and sent me the diagram that's probably far less than just trying to find the manufacturer's website and and do they do spare parts and do they ship out these tiny bits of plastic and so on um, it's amazing this 3d printing stuff it's 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 quite incredible so there you go